Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Adam Robison, and you have tuned in to another episode of The Bridge right here at Business Bridge Media. We are so glad that you decided to tune in and get to know three more businesses from the Northwest Arkansas Corridor and even some businesses from the River Valley. We've gotten to meet so many people, and we're seeing so many incredible things happen around the Arkansas uh, or Northwest Arkansas Corridor. We're seeing bridges built between here and the River Valley. Everything is going on just as we want it to. We just want to continue making more relationships so that you and I and everyone else can grow and learn about the fantastic things that are happening in Northwest Arkansas. Before we get going in this episode, guys, I do want to tell you about my friend Carrie Hodges over at Sunrise Studios on Sunset Avenue. Carrie is doing incredible things over at Sunrise Studios. She can make coffee cups, t-shirts, sweatshirts, anything. In fact, her motto is, if you can think it, we can ink it. And I have been telling people for the last week that you really need to test Carrie on this because there's got to be something that she can't put ink on, right? If you can think it, we can ink it. That's a bold claim by a fantastic business here in Northwest Arkansas. If you need those baseball jerseys, soccer shirts, whatever you need to put your name or your business likeness on, Carrie's going to be able to help you out over at Sunrise Studios. That's Carrie Hodges at Sunrise Studios on Sunset Avenue. If you can think it, they can ink it. And they do. So give them a try, give them a call, or just go and give them a visit. They're good people. Guys, today we have uh, another three great business owners in the house ready to introduce themselves to you. And if they don't own the business, they're a leader at the business. <laughs> they got a lot to say. But before we hear from their stories and get introduced to my three new friends, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsors. So I did the flip today and the Lucia light and... Um Oh my God, <laughs> amazing. So when you get in there, um, you get so relaxed, you don't realize how relaxed you are, and that we don't ever get like that generally. So I was in there and uh, I coughed and scared myself. <laughs> um, and then like as your body, like as you start to relax, is you know, you, your body will twitch every once in a while and you're just, it, it's, like, it's like you lay down on a cloud and you just, you're just, you just be. And it's, it's phenomenal. If you haven't done it, you should do yourself a favor. I promise you will not regret it. I love that. <laughs> you just be. We are back right here on the bridge and you have made the best decision of your day to stay tuned during the break and to listen to these three business owners that we have or, or business leaders that we have uh, presenting for you today. My first guest is from Imagine Studios in Rogers and this is Melanie Hewins. How are you, Melanie? I'm great. Hey, thanks for coming on the podcast today. How was the drive from Rogers? It was fine. It's a great drive as long as you don't have traffic. It's great, yeah. About 4 o'clock, things start to get a little it's different, terrible. right? Especially heading this way. Um, I know when I first moved to the area, somebody who used to live up here said, make sure you live on the right side of 49. Well, I didn't know what that meant, but I do now. And thank God I did find a house on the right side of 49 because it gets traffic gets real slow on the other side. The left so, side. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm still learning my left and right. Side. I didn't wear my ribbon on my wrist today. But, <laughs> left. Yeah, I, I do the whole hand on the heart thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, mm. whatever works. Whatever <laughs> works. Anyway, I'm being a little silly, Melanie. Tell us about Imagine in Rogers. So I own Imagine Studios in Rogers, and um, I've been there for 13 and a half years. Okay. I am the sole owner, and it's not a franchise. People ask me that all the time. Mm. But it's a paint your own art studio you paint your own pottery we do wood door hangers we do glass fusing we have pottery wheels i started more of a kids studio before i moved here and i do a lot of kids things so we will have summer camps all summer long mm -hmm. i teach art lessons um i custom paint for people we do kids art classes after school and we do Lots and lots and lots of birthday parties. Oh, I bet. Well, you know, I got to tell you something you didn't mention. 
I'm married to an incredible woman, and I think this might even be a date night kind of thing. Oh, or a date we do afternoon, date nights, right? for sure. Yep. Like, I can remember when we first met, we went to a, a similar type studio in the Russellville area. Mm -hmm. um, it really is something. So I'm just going to go ahead and sound a lunk alert for you lunks listening out there, and you're trying to think, like, I need to do something romantic with my lady. Maybe <laughs> you should go to Imagine and paint uh, something. What, what kind of things do you put paint on? You can do beer steins. Wine glasses, I love beer coffee steins. mugs. I don't drink beer, but well, I love and beer we steins. do events with breweries. So Fayetteville Beer Works, yeah. we have an event coming up not this Saturday, but the Saturday after that. Um, they're great folks over there, but we're coming down and we're painting Mother's Day mugs. So oh. there's lots of things that you can do, and we try to do community events as well. We have an art bus, um, and we do get that art bus out. Sometimes we do like we're going to go to the children's shelter because we did an event and raise some money for that, and. So so we try to get out on the art bus, but uh, being in Fayetteville versus Rogers and that drive, we actually bring the art bus to people's homes oh, or to wow. locations and you can get on the art bus and do your art. But the date nights we do, you can paint pottery. You can also do a date night on the pottery wheel. And uh -huh. we've got a late night date night coming up <laughs> where it will be adults only. Wow, that mm -hmm. sounds cool. Like it's I'm fun. already hearing Righteous Brothers in my head. <laughs> like, oh my Oh love. my gosh. Like, let's go. Yes. Come on, we could have some Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze time around the pottery wheel, right? They are not included in the package. Uh, <laughs> so my disclaimer. Bummer. Okay, well, that's all right. Th thank goodness that Melanie's here to manage our expectations. Um, <laughs> that's that's good. Melanie, thanks for coming today. I appreciate you. We're going to talk to you more here in just a few minutes. Another great friend of mine today is from Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers. Now, try to say that five times real fast and see if you can run out of, uh, do it without running out of breath. This is Melissa K. Hazer, and she's here today all the way from Harrison, Arkansas, USA. Thanks for Woo! making the drive in. Oh, of course. Yes. Man. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's not too bad. I still no. have some family over in Harrison, so yeah. we make it that way uh, yeah. almost every weekend now, it seems like. But... Uh, welcome to the show. How Thank was you. the drive in? Drive was fine. There was a little traffic near Goshen because of the construction over there. Yeah. But other than that, it was yeah. fine. I'm it was really nice. excited about Pretty. that construction. That's my drive home. And no. uh, so for a few weeks, I'm taking a different route. That's but wise. in a few weeks... I'm going to have a smooth drive, man. All those potholes that have been there the whole time, gone, Jack. Yes. And so, yeah, Highway 45 uh, going out of Fayetteville is getting ready to be the supreme route to get out to 412, um, for those of you that care. Anyway, um, <laughs> Melissa, tell us about Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers. Okay, well, it's been in business for 30 years. We have 17 clinics. Um, we, of those 17 clinics, have three different dental offices in Huntsville, Yellville, and Clinton. Um, we have an optometrist over in Eureka Springs. Wow. And we just do all sorts of different events. So on April 13th, over in Green Forest, we'll be doing a health fair where they'll be doing free dental care and mm. have an eye doctor. Oh, and I'll goodness. be doing the HIV screenings there and blood pressure. they will It's just a huge event. There'll be food and um, all sorts of different activities for the kids to do. Man, that's fantastic. It looks like this is something that you guys make available to everyone. I'm yes. reading here about a sliding scale. Go ahead and talk about that. Well, very good. Yes, we have what we call a sliding scale. So what you do is you would come into the office. Um, they give you what we call a kiosk. You fill out all the information. And then you also bring in your, um, it could be like a W-2, um, any sort of benefits that you might already receive. And that's evidence of your income. Um, you could pay as little as $10.00 for a visit, no more than 25 for a visit, depending upon where you are financially. Wow. We don't want to ever turn anyone away. We're all about serving everyone everywhere they are at. And that also means financially. So we never want to deny anybody care. I love that. Um, you know, a few years ago, I was making what I would consider 
really good money uh, and then decided to be a small business owner and uh, apparently with that decision comes uh, goodbye to the really good money yeah. at least for a minute and so I know that, that my family's had to make some really deep sacrifices over the last year while I've been on this journey sounds like uh, people can rest assured that if you can at least get to one of these clinics yes you're going to be able to get served hmm. right? we also have a resource list so um, we put questions on the kiosk that help us help you. Mm. <laughs> Just sound like Jerry Maguire. But yes, <laughs> let us help you. Um, so it could be anything about food insecurity. Do you have a safe place to live? Um, just any sorts of high risk behaviors or people in need that just might need that little extra help because the check didn't come in. Mm. So we have food bags whenever we know that a patient is in need like that. Um, we also, within the resource list, it covers everything from, oh my goodness, like rental assistance, like trying to get them that rental assistance through LIHEAP, um, all the way to things like finding a support group for grieving. Um, oh my goodness, it has all sorts of different categories. Mm. Um, every just Everything you can imagine is yeah. on there. Well, it sounds incredible. It says here that um, you have locations in Northwest, Central, and North Central Arkansas. And as I read deeper, it says something about 17 different clinics. Yeah, we are a little bit everywhere. Our headquarters is in Marshall, Arkansas, over in Searcy County. Um, and then we're just everywhere. Hey, that that's the home of the only drive-in in the state of Arkansas, <laughs> yeah, right? It probably is. I mean, we're getting ready to like we're getting ready to that's get a right. new drive-in in Fayetteville. Oh, We've got a big one coming in. Fantastic. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like eighteen screens. Wow. They're they're, oh they're gonna gosh. develop like it's this whole big project they yes. announced a year ago. Yes. Um, but right now. I believe that's the only working yes. drive-in in the state and is in Marshall, Arkansas. The chocolate roll. They're very oh, proud of their chocolate uh, rolls. Uh, yeah. And Gilbert, which is just outside of Marshall, they'll do art festivals with Buffalo Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm gonna throw in a lot of different possible sponsors for you. Sorry. Love it. Uh, it's okay. Anyway, if we mention yeah. your name on the show, you've got to send us money. So that's, that's right. good. <laughs> yeah. So Melissa <laughs> Melissa's Sorry. making that decision just carte blanche right You're now. Welcome. <laughs> that's all right. So, no, yeah. fun story. <laughs> yes. So, um, Melissa and I, we didn't know that we had a common bond, but Melissa knows someone who's very important to me. Um, and uh, uh, my wife's parents actually had their first date at the little dairy queen type place there in Daisy Marshall. Queen. Daisy Queen. That's it, yeah. And every time we drive through Marshall, I hear that's where my mom and dad went on their first date. Oh, and yeah, that's it's so just sweet. so that's yeah, so Marshall's sweet. kind of a special community. And if they you're are. watching us in Marshall, go ahead and put a comment down below and tell me I'm special too. How about that's that? Right. And so yeah. awesome. So yeah. seventeen clinics. Yes. Um is there any way that you guys decide where those went or how they're distributed across the state? That is a great question. Um mostly we, it's just they go into areas that we feel might be underserved mm. um our most recent one that we are finishing up the construction and getting the insides all set up and people trained for is the lead hill clinic that'll mm -hmm. be opening i think sometime this summer okay will be available oh we also offer transportation oh my gosh. nice so wow. um we have patients and if they just can't get there if they call us usually within about a week or so of their appointment we might be able to do it sooner if possible okay. but um we have a little it's a little van and they go and pick them up and then get them to the appointment eh, 20 minutes or so before that way Sounds they can great. fill out paperwork or if they have labs they need yeah. done Sounds yeah. great. Well, Melissa, we'll get back to you, and we're going to hear more about the Boston Mountain Rural Health Center here in just a few minutes. Okay. Our last guest today is Danny Mott from Diva Dance. Yes. Sorry, I can't say that without a little bit of attitude. I think you have to. Diva yeah. Dance. Yes. What's up? Um, <laughs> so, uh, where's Diva Dance at? Yeah, so we have a few different locations in okay. Northwest Arkansas. Um, Diva Dance Northwest Arkansas has a studio in Bentonville and in Fayetteville. Okay. And we're looking at some other options in Northwest right. Arkansas as well. We are a franchise. Okay. So if you're listening from like Texas, Florida, anywhere else, check it out because there's a good chance there's a location near you. There so, you go. Yes. Yeah. And if not, there could be a location of Diva Dance somewhere near you pretty <laughs> you soon, could right? Start one. 
All right, I'll, I'll quit saying that. I just got on my own nerves, and it's got to stop, right? So uh, I apologize. Thank you we for putting it. up with me. Um, so tell us about Diva Dance and, and what it is that makes it so special. Yes. Okay, so we are dance choreography classes for adults. Oh, cool. Yes. So if any of you want to come take a class with us, let me come know. On. Um, yes. So we teach all skill levels. So whether you have never danced before or maybe you're a seasoned pro trying to get back into it, we've got classes for you so listen i've been telling my wife i'm a diva for five years and she hasn't agreed with me if i come <laughs> over and learn a dance do i get to at least wear one of those shirts yeah. like because i i think my inner diva is screaming to get out i right think now. we can make that happen for okay, you sweet, so sweet. you just come on over Feeling good. <laughs> let's go jenny yes <laughs> <laughs> all right go ahead um so yeah we have um two big values that we emphasize throughout our classes and that is inspiring confidence mm. so when you come to diva dance we want you to be the most confident version of yourself and if that starts out a little less confident at the beginning of class and becomes more confident as class goes on that's totally great yeah we also want to develop community um because that's important in life in all walks of life so those are the two things that we really emphasize we just happen to do it through sneaky cardio through mm -hmm. dance classes mm -hmm. as adults let me tell you, um, when I was dating my wife, we went to a salsa dance class. Okay. Um, and I thought it was going to be nice. I uh, had no idea that that literally engages every muscle group in your entire body. So what I found was during the day, you know, there were moments of frustration. We would get a little frustrated, couldn't get it. And then we would get it and we would celebrate together. And it was this wonderful time. So I don't know that it got better as we went, but it definitely had its ups and downs. Yeah. It was a great experience. and But the next day, um, was excruciating. I, I got out of bed and I lived in a two-story apartment and I just walked to the bathroom and went to go downstairs and as soon as my weight shifted on those stairs, my glute pain kicked in and oh yeah. my gosh, suddenly the air conditioner was my enemy because it was blowing too hard and it made me hurt. Um, so much great exercise. I think, I think yeah. the way you put that... Um, I think more dancers should put that out and realize that, hey, dude, when you're dancing, you're doing real mm -hmm. exercise. You're mm -hmm. getting your cardio in, but you're also getting in some muscle resistance and yeah. all that other good stuff. Too. Yeah, it's a great workout. We really do mostly focus, though, on just like building confidence, making people feel confident mm -hmm. in their bodies that the way they are, feeling confident in doing different moves. Um, and then we teach a variety of different class types as well. So if normal hip hop dance isn't quite your style, we've also got some chair classes, some palm classes. We've about the bright pink See? palms for oh, those. Nice. They're really fun. I think you should come to one of those. I think I should definitely I hold a bright should. pink palm just Absolutely. because I'm open-minded. You can judge if you want, but I'm all man, people. <laughs> and so, you know. Yeah. And our class is for all genders as well. Really? That's yes. cool. So, so we're going to see other guys, other women, yep. um, and, and this is adults, so you're not going to yes. have some eight-year-old that shows you up and makes right. you feel like a real <laughs> right. tubby. Right. Yes. <laughs> we love children. We yeah. do. But we want it to be a comfortable, safe environment mm -hmm. for our adults that come. We do dance to explicit music. Wow. Our moves are a little spicy at times, come and so we on. want it to be a comfortable environment for adults to come and let loose a little oh, bit I'm and not have to worry intrigued. about a five-year-old. You're a great them. representative so, of your business. Well, That's good you. stuff. Because <laughs> when you started, I thought we were getting into like a dance moms kind of thing. But then when you say it's it's dance for adults that want to get out, shake their bonbon, or, yep. or maybe not. All right. I love the supportive <laughs> atmosphere, right? Yes, because absolutely. especially for some of us, uh, you know, we look in the mirror, maybe our bodies don't reflect what we wish they did. And it can be a little bit intimidating to go to a place like that. But yeah. it sounds like you guys really invest in making that customer comfortable. Yep. All bodies are beautiful. All bodies can shake it. I so hear you. We love it. I nice. hear you. I love that. Me well, guys, too. we've set the table perfectly for a great conversation. We're going to go ahead and take a break and let you hear from more of our sponsors so that we can pay some bills. We'll be right back <laughs> with our three guests right here at the bridge. Does your loved one have an intellectual or developmental disability? Pathfinder Incorporated helps through compassionate NWA programs like adult developmental day services, residential facilities, waivers, and therapies. Our goal is enriching lives. Call Kristen now at 479-254-6717 or visit us at 2616 South Walton Boulevard in Bentonville. Struggling with expensive COBRA payments? 
there is affordable individual and family health insurance available. Blair Beatty is a licensed agent who will patiently guide you through all the options to find the right plan at the right price, saving you hundreds per month. Call Optimum Health today and start saving on health insurance. We are back right here on the bridge, and you have met three uh, wonderful, wonderful Northwest Arkansas businesses today. We've met Melanie, Melissa, and Danny, and you're going to get to hear from all of them again as we learn more about them and their businesses. Listen, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you mash that subscribe button. Go ahead and give this episode a like, and if you really enjoy what you're getting here at the bridge, Go ahead and share this episode to your socials. What we're learning is each and every share on a podcast episode usually produces about another 800 to 1,500 views or listens, and we want to make sure that everyone around gets to know about these small businesses. You'll be doing these three ladies a favor, and you'll be doing the bridge a favor as well just by sharing onto your social media. So, Melanie, we're coming back to you with Imagine Studios in Rogers. Tell me, you get to do a lot of creative things. Have you always been a creative? I have always been a creative person, and I've always also wanted to own my own business. So oh, I grew cool. up in a family where my dad owned his own business. Um, my grandparents lived next door. They owned businesses. And it. so not just being creative, but knowing that I wanted to be, and I think it's a matter of independence. Mm-hmm. I wanted to work for myself. Yeah. I, I like being my own boss, but also I am doing the thing that I love because I sold Mary Kay early in my 20s. Mm-hmm. I don't even like to wear makeup. I am <laughs> hardly ever wash my face at night. I'm mm-hmm. like so bad with skincare. But the idea and the dream behind owning my own art studio just really fit in with my love wow. of people, my love yeah. of teaching, my love of art, and just being able to put all of that into, you know, just the dreaming and doing. So I did keep a full-time job for quite some time Mm. and started out, I think um, I was 10. My dad let me paint a mural on my bedroom wall, which I look at that Mm -hmm. now and I think that's crazy Mm -hmm. because I have very artistic children who are now adults and I would have never let them do that. So, (laughs) um, But my dad did let me do that and I just always did artsy things and I loved getting groups of people together. And so, but my very first business after the failed Mary Kay, Mm -hmm. while I was teaching was I um, had a business called Charming Children's Rooms. And I was in Kansas City and I painted children's bedrooms and bathrooms and did murals on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then people just started asking me when I would paint a piece of furniture or something, you know, oh my gosh, I would love to have someone teach me how to do what you do. And so my business actually just came over time of just kind of dreaming about being in a position where I could do that full time. Mm -hmm. And so I actually quit my day job for my dream job in 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, I've owned my business. I'm on my 14th year and I've never looked back. I thought I would miss teaching but I don't. Mm -mm. You know, I taught for about uh, (laughs) seven years. I was a principal at a high school Hmm. for about four. Mm -hmm. I saw too much. I don't miss it, man. I I I love kids. Yeah, Yeah. I was going to say, I love the kids. Um, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm still married to a teacher. She's finishing her uh, 25th year. So I get stories about the kids on a regular basis, but I think she's done this year too. So I did have to do a balancing act. And luckily, luckily for me, I have lots and lots of energy. (laughs) And um, I was able to balance that for quite some time, but I cannot tell you how awesome it is to have spent the last, I mean, I think it's nine years now, Mm -hmm almost 10, just being able to work for myself. And I do think sometimes that joke, like what people think I do and what things I actually do, like my knees are dirty right now because (laughs) I was scrubbing clay off of the ceramic tiles. And so it's not all glamorous, Mm -mm. but um, I can be having the worst unmotivated mood and not want to leave my house and get to my studio and my whole entire perspective changes. It's just a happy place. It's a fun place. And you said your dance studio being a safe place and my studio is a safe place. And I I think it makes me happy and my happiness makes other people happy as well. Yeah. I think we find the same kind of thing here at the bridge because, you know, we are the entrepreneurs marketing company. Mm-hmm. And so we get people who come in and they sit on the big blue, blue comfy couch and they think the same thing I did. They think, 
there's no way I can afford to market my business. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I started my business last May, sitting down with a good friend of mine who was a marketing person. And she was like, it's only $600 a month. And I'm like, yeah. that's what I'm paying for rent. Like yeah. I can't pay $600 mm -hmm. a month. And we're aware of what solopreneurs and entrepreneurs can do. We market ourselves accordingly, but it's a safe place. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get intimidated and all that other stuff. And so I think that's a great big deal. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, Melissa, tell me, is Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers, do, do people feel like that's a safe place as well? Oh, very much so. Absolutely. We have behavioral health specialists at all the clinics, um, and we also have telemed. Mm. So if there's um, one particular counselor that you enjoy more than another, then you have that option to be able to do that. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw telemedicine on here. Before we get more into Boston Mountain, I want to learn more about you. So you seem to be a, a great uh, agent in saving the world. Like this is <laughs> this is pretty great stuff that it's you guys do here. Rate. So like, have I'm you trying. always been Real like I'm saving the world? <laughs> what do you mean Wonder Woman when I grow up? Yes. Yes. Oh, there see, you go. She has a cape. Did you see it? She checked it at the totally. door. Totally. You know, did you have the Wonder Woman underoos when you were growing up? Because oh that was the total statement of superhero uh, intention. That was so long ago. I don't that even remember that. That was a long time that. ago. I may have just aged you myself there. Have. Just I'm like, saying. I don't remember that. Yeah. No, yeah I'm, I'm sure gonna... Danny's like, underoos? I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, just like, so just for you that don't know, because I totally dated myself, back in the 80s, or the 1980s, they actually had um, outfits that were were dressed in the that you they look like Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, all the superheroes, and they were called underoos because they were literally pajamas, like okay. t-shirt, shorts, or underwear, uh, underwear, slippery pants. Yeah. And and I uh, there there's an embarrassing picture that floats around family photo albums in my family mm. of the time I put my cousin Melanie's. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Wonder Woman underoos on, and that picture still gets circulated, much to my chagrin. So yeah, yeah. I'm full, and, and I'm being a little silly about that, but the picture You're does fine. exist. Oh, I, I, I promise. You it don't, you should don't, be circulating. Yeah, I mean, yes. you don't have to be sad. This wasn't something that I'm counting trauma over, right? No, no. I've got those things for real. I don't need to find trauma about Wonder Woman. I for those of us born in the 1900s, yeah. that's right. Yes, I have hair shoes, yeah. but mine were okay. strawberry shorts. Were you born in the 19s? <gasps> yeah, strawberry shorts. Okay. Yes. 96. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Oh, my lordy. I was only 20, second year of college. No big deal. I think if any of your family members, want to leave that picture in the comments. <laughs> Oh, I think that's a brilliant that's idea. That's a fantastic thought. Listen, we I've never told to a it. guest to be quiet right now, but um, <laughs> that first time may be coming, okay? <laughs> I no, love it. Goodness. I love it. Melissa, no, we're having yes. way too much fun, yes. so um, tell us, what was the dream growing up? So, um, archaeologist, oh, I guess, really? because my parents moved from California to Missouri and they built a house and there was an unfinished room downstairs. Okay. So a ton of boxes were always down there and I would climb the boxes and just kind of dig through stuff and see what was there. Wow. So as a result, I turned into a history teacher, mm. which I did. I taught for 21 years. And then public school, public school, baby. Oh my God! Eleven Let's go years. On, talk about a warrior, right there. Eleven years at um, seventh through twelfth grade. I had the whole variation at a smaller district in Boone County, and then um, around ten, I guess, for an additional one that was a little bit bigger, more of a three A school. Okay. And then I thought, I'm, I think I need to do something else. I'm, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Done. And yes. I want to do something that helps people, and that is what I'm doing now. So well, I'm loving it. It's so tough. And you and I talked about it a little bit before we went on air. The burden that's put on teachers these yes. days is unbelievable. Yes. And for those of you closed minded individuals who think, well, we just gave them a raise. They should quit complaining. Listen, they've always deserved 50000 a year. Amen. They've been grossly That's underpaid right. for a mm. long time. And frankly, as a former teacher, I was a little insulted when the legislation put responsibilities on top yeah. of them for this yes. 50000 
when they have earned it for years. Yes, sir. And I just, I <laughs> have true. a real problem with that. But, you know, hey, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, come on the big blue comfy couch. Ooh. Let's have a conversation about it. I debated your brother in college, and I can debate <laughs> you too. So I would love to oh, talk I'd about that. I'd love to see that. that. All right? oh Wouldn't that be great? Calling out the governor right here I'll on the bridge. I'll bring some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could say. <laughs> listen, listen. I think it would be a very interesting be, conversation to say that the least. That would be. Um, yes. Melissa, we'll get back to you in just okay. a second. So, Danny, we're all three yeah. kind of taking, all four taking part in this. But I do want to come back because I'm curious. Have you all, I, I picture baby Danny, like two years old, <laughs> blonde pigtail, somewhere in 1998. So, like, you walking around with your pigtails coming off and like, Dina! Like, I see you being that. For a while. So tell us, have you always been a diva at heart? I think I've always been a diva at Come heart. Come on. Yes. I knew you wouldn't yes. be lying if you said different. No. <laughs> no. Always a little sassy. Yeah. A little extra. Nothing wrong with that. Right? I don't think so. Nothing don't think wrong so. with that at all. So no. how has your diva nature kind of shown itself throughout your life? Yeah, great question. So I used to like dance, make up dances with my sisters. I love it. Um which is so funny. Eventually I joined like the dance team at my high school, go Tigers. Um, and then did some like studio dancing as well. But after high school, there weren't really a lot of opportunities, mm. um, to do anything like that. Um, so I kind of hit pause on the dance life for a little bit, gave birth to my tiny human in December Aww. of 2021. Congratulations. Her so much. Um, but just got really like, invested in motherhood and yeah. kind of forgot who I was outside of being Penelope's Easy mom. Easy to do. So, yes, for That's sure. A great name. Yes. Isn't People it sweet? Yes. That's yes. a good name. Um, <laughs> yes. So, uh, yes, got super lost in motherhood, which is great. Love yeah. her to death. Wouldn't change that. Mm -hmm. But realized... I need something for me again. I need mm -hmm. to focus on myself. And so my husband actually found Diva Dance. Oh. And he said, hey, you should go try one of these classes. And I said, you know, Tyler, I probably should go try one of these classes. That's nice. So it was actually a booty work class. Oh. So there was a lot of booty shaking and twerking in that one. Okay. Which I had not done in a very long time. Uh -huh. um, but everybody was so <laughs> encouraging. Knew what he was about, huh? Yes, mm -hmm. he did enjoy watching the video later. Listen, I'm just saying, if I want my <laughs> wife to put in some booty work, that has double meaning, but whatever. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is if I'm if I'm wanting her to have have that kind of activity, I'm going to make sure I schedule it for yeah. and, and participate even sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, it was so sweet. But I walked away feeling so confident, so refreshed, made some new friends along Love the that way. Lady. That's great. It was so great. So I joined as a member from there, later decided, okay, I want to be a part of this a little more and became an instructor. And then wow. after that, um, Jamie, who's our CEO, she does a mentorship program okay. where it's virtual. We do Zoom meetings about once a week over the course of five to six weeks. Wow. Um, and she just trains us in leadership, communication skills, <clears throat> things like that. Gained a lot of confidence again through that. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually got to become the manager of the Northwest Arkansas That's branch. That's so nice. cool. Yes. Wow. Yes. So as manager, yeah. what excites you the most about Diva Dance? I think it's seeing the life change in our clients mm, um, because, again, we're answer. all about building confidence, building community. And so just seeing that happen for our clients that come in, them gaining confidence, trying something that maybe they wouldn't have tried before, mm -hmm. taking videos of themselves mm -hmm. at the end of wow. class and yeah. sharing that to social media because yeah. they're so proud of mm -hmm. themselves. Um, has been really great for me. Oh, just I love that. seeing the life change in them. Listen, you know, my brother, he he gets on to me a lot. He's like, dude, you take a lot of pictures of yourself. Like, <laughs> you take a lot of pictures. You really stuck up. And I'm like, listen, sometimes you gotta fake it to make it. So even when I'm not feeling real fancy or real good looking, <clears throat> I'll take a picture of myself and just be like, okay, I'm not feeling. <laughs> I think I look better than I'm feeling. That's all right, right? And so I love it when people start getting some confidence. Mm -hmm. They start taking more pictures. They start yes. posting more pictures. Yes. It's a beautiful thing when someone rediscovers confidence. Yes, um, absolutely. I Guys, we're going to be right back with our panel as we tell you exactly how to find them and learn why they do what they do. We'll be back after this last break. At Sunrise Studios Custom Printing, we believe in the power of your imagination. That's why we are dedicated to bringing your unique vision to life on t-shirts, hats, jerseys, jackets, and more. Our expert team of advanced printing services ensure that your custom designs will look incredible every single time. Trust your local NWA printer to make it happen. 
Remember, if you can think it, we can ink it. We are back right here at the bridge for an exciting conclusion to a conversation <laughs> with three great businesses uh, between, well, all over Arkansas and then Northwest Arkansas, guys. I uh, hope you have enjoyed meeting Melanie Hewins from Imagine Studios, Melissa Kayser from Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers, and Danny Mott from Diva Dance. I, I had to do it. it one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in me. I can't help it. Don't apologize. That's my inner diva it. that screams the name. That's all. <laughs> all it is i know it's what it is so uh melanie tell us imagine studios we hear it's your dream we know that you love to do what you get to do and maybe that's it maybe that's your why but is there anything else that just wakes you up in the morning that just gets your gears going and allows you to give this great company to northwest arkansas I think it is. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Yes, it's my dream. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is something I wanted to do. But there are certainly dreams that I've had that I have put to bed. Mm -hmm. And this is not one that I'm ready to do that yet because yeah. it is... I, I just, I love being with the people in my studio and I work a lot. I don't work as much as I used to now that I've been in business a lot longer and I've got a great assistant, Meredith. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Meredith. Hey, Meredith. But when I'm there and I'm with the people who are coming in to create when the kids are calling me and I, I miss Melanie. Everybody calls me miss Melanie. <laughs> miss Melanie. There's just something about being able to bring that. Hey guys, I'm weird. I'm an artist. I'm a creative <laughs> and on. I can be all over the place, but this beautiful mess I have embraced it and I embrace it in you too. Oh, so come that. and be who you are. This is a safe place. And I just love being part of the community. And, you know, there I have so many regulars and I also see so many new people every single day. And it is sad for me to have time when I'm not at my studio and come in and be like, oh, I didn't get to see who made this. Oh and goodness, so I wow. really do. I love seeing what people can create. And I love seeing people be very proud of themselves. I love seeing people try something new. I love seeing people being willing to take a risk, um, to, to fail because mm -hmm. failure is such a good thing. Mm -hmm. And to be able to say, Hey, but at least I tried mm -hmm. or to go, Oh my gosh, I had no idea that I could do something like this. And I'm so proud of myself. Wow. So that really is my why. That's amazing. So that, it couldn't have written that in a Hallmark card any better. That was really, really <laughs> great. Um, so thanks for being here today. Uh, wow. Um, Melissa, Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers, uh, what's your why? My why is just to help people. Mm. I, um, I just wanted some job that I felt could help the people that everyone else ignores okay. or puts in line and then just says later to. I work mm. a lot with those who are not only underserved, but also uh, those who are homeless or just in a situation that they can't afford health care. Mm. So giving them the compassion and kindness that they just deserve to have just because they're human. Wow. I love, it. I love that. It's incredible to me what a divider uh, income level can be. Yes, um, very much so. And, and not just the way we behave toward other people, but truly the way we think toward yeah. other people mm -hmm. too, our thoughts, our attitudes and dispositions. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty incredible that you guys kind of level that playing field. We so. do our best. Yeah. Uh, we, um, we'll go to different events. I went to one in Northwest Arkansas, I won't say where, but they were very kind, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and one of their employees came for the free HIV screening that we were offering. And I said, yeah, there's medications, you know, it's a new world. It's such an exciting time to be alive, you know, as far as these medications can make you undetectable, mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. transmit. And he goes, well, those are expensive. Yeah. And I said, well, we have, you know, we have different programs we can connect you to. There's always that linkage of care that we're always concerned about. Mm. But my why is because I want people to feel like they matter. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Wow. That's Imagine awesome. a different place if, if we all knew that we mattered to yeah. someone, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, can I call you Diva Danny? <laughs> Do because, it. I, you <laughs> know, I've been wanting to this whole, like, I'm like, Danny, Diva, Dance. That screams for a nickname. So, I love it. Diva Danny, <laughs> what's your why? Yes. So my why is I've seen the life change in myself. Yeah. 
And I've been able to see that in other people too. I'm so much more confident than I used to be before Diva Dance, so much better connected mm-hmm. to people around me. I've made so many great friendships um, just through taking dance classes together. Wow. So, and it's fun. Yeah. We have a lot of fun at Diva okay. Dance. I can so. tell in your face, you're not just making that up. No, like, I'm not lying I, I think to you when right you now. say it's fun, <laughs> you're actually remembering something that was pretty fun and we'll save the story. We don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to embarrass anybody or anything no. like that. I, I doubt there's many of that, though. It no, seems like a nice place so where fun. people just come, share a good time, have a lot yes. of laughs. Yes. Yeah. Right? And we do parties, too. Oh. I forgot to mention that. So we've come got on. our like weekly classes, but we also do like bachelorette parties, birthday parties. We had a girls' night out this week where it was just Ooh. some women coming in to celebrate their friendship and okay. take a dance class with I us. I love it. So, so we have a lot of fun. I'm coming right back at you with another yes. question. Here we go. Okay. If someone out there wants to have a party, wants to learn more about Diva Dance and and everything that you guys provide, how can they find you on social media or on the web? Yeah, so you can just Google Diva Dance Northwest Arkansas. It'll take you to our website. If you want to find us on Instagram, our tag is at Diva Dance NWA. And I will say, if you send us a DM and say that you heard us here on the bridge, we'll give you a 10-day free trial. Hey so there. if you want to come check us out, Shoot. just let us know you heard us on the bridge and yeah. you want to come try some classes. I hope so. my wife is watching because uh, yeah. that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. You guys. You guys come on Hey, out. I'm ready to go. Let me she tell used you. to be a cheerleader. A yeah. So that should be easy let for me tell her. You. I've you seen her pictures and uh, my wife is not <laughs> hard to look at, friends. Let me just tell you. She's quite pretty She's and I love pretty. her a lot. Yeah. Um, let me see. Melissa. Tell us, how do we get in touch with you or learn more about Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers? Okay, well, if you want to get in touch with me, my phone number is, and it goes just straight to my office, 479-363-6197. And you can call me and leave a message if you want. I'm there most days, unless I have an event or something, from about 7.15 until 5.15. Um, just kind of depends on the day, but I will get back with you as soon as I can. We're That's also a online. Day, friend. That's a full well, day. Well, yeah, just kidding. We do, you know, like nine hour days, Monday through Thursday. Okay. I'm just an early goer because I'm a te- you know, former teacher. Yeah. yeah. So I'm used okay. to yeah. getting to campus at 7 15. Mm-hmm. Normal work day for Boston Mount is 7 45 to oh, yeah. 9 15 with the 30 minute lunch. But I'm like, I'll oh, just. I just, I'm going to get there Mm because I have the energy. I've had my coffee Mm -hmm. and, and let's go. Why not? Let's let's get some work done. So that's (laughs) That's what I do. But I will call you back as soon as I can. We're also online. We have a really good website with different forms on there. Like a really short one. If you have any questions about a home test for HIV or just making an appointment for anything else that you might need help with. Okay. You want to go ahead and say the website? Uh, What the URL is? uh, (laughs) <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not sure. Can okay. we find it, please? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's the initials. So, bmrhc.com. bmrhc.com. Good job. Yeah, so, good. we want to check out this great website. <laughs> Get accessibility to this fantastic program. Yeah. It's all right there. Thank yeah. you, Melissa, You're for very being welcome. here today. It's good to and be here. finally, Melanie, go ahead and tell people out there how they can learn more about Imagine in Rogers or engage sure. you on social media or the web. So we have an Imagine Studios Facebook page. We have Instagram. And you can visit us at ImagineStudiosNWA.com. And if you just Google Imagine Studios or Paint Your Own Pottery or... Mm art summer camps mm. that is all going to show up just right there on google yeah. so you can summer find us pretty easily oh my gosh i i can't wait i love my summer camps i have so much fun planning them the registrations are rolling in we have an early bird discount that ends on may 1st oh, that's and then friend. camps just start to sell out yeah i mean it makes no sense to wait because you mm-hmm. know you're going to send that baby of yours <laughs> to this camp you just know you are um any summer camps in diva dance future we don't have any summer camps. We do have something called Slaycation. Oh, Ooh, tell us about Slaycation. It's basically Diva Dance Vacation. It's an annual convention where all the Diva Dances come together. This year it's in Vegas. What? So we rent out part of the Palms Resort in Vegas and have Ooh, a great time. I went last fun. year. Dude, the I'm four going of us need year. to go. We just need to make it a pack. We could let Lalissa come too since yes. she set yeah, up this whole on, thing. <laughs> so the five of us need to come. Uh, that sounds incredible. It's great. I went last year. It's in 
September. It's so wow. much fun. Wow. Well, guys, we have had a full episode. We've ran a little long, but with these great individuals, who could blame us? We didn't want to <laughs> shut down, miss out any on, on any of the story. And we've been a little silly in the process, but that's all right. Guys, we've had a wonderful conversation today with three great businesses that you absolutely need to know better. So Please follow the instructions they gave you, reach out to these businesses, and then go by and let them absolutely change your life. They all have the power of doing that. So for Melanie Hewins from Imagine in Rogers, Melissa Kayser from Boston Mountain Rural Health Centers, and Diva Danny Mott from Diva Dance, my name is Adam <laughs> Robison, and you've just taken another walk on the bridge. And we will meet you here next time. We'll see you soon, everybody.